Welcome to Sunday Church School from Miss Valerie and Miss Joanne. Good morning. <laughs> we hope you are surviving the hot days of summer. <laughs> the pool and the beach are still fun, but every day I am grateful to be in air conditioning, which is very pleasant. And all of us are very lucky to have air conditioning in our homes <laughs> and we can be cool and not have to take a cold shower all day long. Our lesson today is about another letter that Paul wrote to his friends, the Ephesians. And um, I just wanted to tell you a little bit about Ephesians. It was a port, which means it was where a lot of ships went in on the Mediterranean. And if you have a, a visit Turkey or know somebody who's going there, you can go and visit this town of Ephesians because there are all of these wonderful buildings and ruins today of um, the beautiful town. And the people there used to speak Greek. So um, maybe next week I will find a nice picture that I could hold up and show you what it looks like today. <clears throat> so this, so he wrote several letters to his friends who lived in Ephesus. Now, if you listen to this letter, it is easy to imagine that Paul was writing it to us today. In the letter, Paul gives us some excellent advice and it is valuable and useful today, just as it was to the Ephesians all those years ago. Unfortunately, we still need reminders that we should follow God and Jesus' advice on how to live together and create a kind and loving family, society, and world. We have to make many choices, and it is very important that they be good ones. Perhaps, Miss Joanne, you would be kind enough to start us with a prayer. Thank you. Let's fold our hands and bow our head and open our hearts. Dear God, help us to grow like Jesus. Help us to grow by being kind and loving. Help us to know that our kind and loving action will help others live in God's way. Amen. Amen. So listen very carefully and imagine that this is a letter that Paul has written to you along. <coughs> Dear friends, how are you? We miss you all very much and hope we will see you soon. Remember to always speak the truth to each other because we all belong to God's family. If you do become angry, don't do anything that will hurt others. Use kind words and, and talk about how you are feeling. Be gentle with each other and then you will each feel loved and special. Be kind to each other and, and forgive each other just as God forgives you. Dear friends, we think of you often Live in loving, live in loving ways as you follow Jesus. I was thinking, Miss Joanna, that we missed everybody when we saw each other last Sunday. Yeah. And so it's very, it's like I'm saying to all the people watching, we miss you very much because we really do. And uh, so I, I feel like I would start that with a letter if I was writing to any of you that I, we really miss you and we hope we will see you very soon. I, <laughs> excuse me. And then as I read it and listened to it, there were certain words which were very important. Um, for instance, speak truth to each other. 
ooh, I hope that we all already do that. But it's difficult sometimes. I mean, we, we hear a lot of things and we, when we have to decide about, and, and sometimes, you know, it's okay to say, I, I don't think that's tr quite true. Maybe we should check it. I always try to think before I say anything, is that really true? Because if, it, if, I, if I have a question, maybe I won't say it. Or I can say, I, I think this is true, but we really should check it and, you know, double check it to make sure. Now, we have so much information. Checking takes time, but searching for the truth is sometimes very interesting and very important. Another thing that Paul says is, if you do become angry, he doesn't say don't become angry. He says, if you do become angry. So God, he, he says it's all right to be angry because we may see or hear things which annoy us and they should, like hurting animals, littering the environment, wasting things. So I think you, Miss Joanna, have a very good suggestion of how we can be hear things that we don't like too much and how we can reply without making anybody um, being hurtful to anybody. Yes, Miss Valerie, that advice is so wonderful and so true today as it was back in Paul's time to speak the truth and as Miss Valerie says, it's very difficult sometimes to find the truth. His advice of using kind words when we talk to each other are the most important of all. And that it's okay to be angry and it's okay to be disappointed because we all have times like that in our lives. But if we could put this thought in your mind before you start accusing you did this and you did that, think about I, how do you feel? And how are you going to talk to this person that's provoked you in some way? It's a good way to say, I feel, I feel sad when you call me names. I feel sad when you don't let me be part of the group. I feel sad when you make ugly, <laughs> ugly names to me. Often, if we found that we try to leave the word you out of your argument or your discussion. Leave that out. Express your feelings. I feel happy when you welcome me. I feel so glad when you invite me to sit by you. I feel good when we all share and we work together. Those are conversations. They'll bring better things in the end. If we're working together, the only way we can work together is to say how we feel. Don't be accusative. Say how you feel. I feel so sad when you leave me out. I feel I'm not invited to the party. I feel sad when I make a mistake, so help me. So ask in that way where we're all working together. And then amazingly, you'll both feel better. All of you will feel better. So for today's craft, we have an I feel bad and it's a puppet. So you just have a lunch bag and you take the top plot, make a big eye. So you can remember the first thing you're gonna say when these sad times come, I feel so sad when you call me names. And then you say, I feel, and you can feel happy or you can feel sad. And then if you happen to have these little post-it notes around, think of the ways, the times that you've had times being sad and times that you've been happy, how did you handle it? Did you say, you are mean, you did the wrong thing. You wouldn't let me be on the team. Instead, if you would say to that person, I feel sad that you didn't include me. I, I feel sad that I didn't know how to do it and you all laughed at me. What can we do to help each other? So on this, 
you make your little heart or you can just slip a paper and, and say, I feel happy when we work together. I feel sad when I'm not invited. I feel sad when I'm called names. I feel so happy when I can help. If you let me help you learn something. There's so many times you just slow down, think and begin with I, how do you feel? It's not that you're being selfish. You're, so, you're saying, this is how I feel. Let's work together and find a way that we can have happy times. So it's just a lunch bag with a flask and a big eyeball. And you don't have to have these post notes. You could just put pieces of paper and tape them, tape them on. You'll be surprised how many ways you can think to converse with other people, to talk with people, to, to make it a good relationship where you're all learning something. So that would be a fun thing to do. I think that's a wonderful idea. I'm going to remind myself uh, to, to do it that way too, because I think, it, you know, most people do not want to make you feel sad or, no. angry. you know, we like to make people feel happy. So by saying, this is how I feel, mm -hmm. that person will be a little sad themselves because they don't want you to feel that way. So I, I, I think that would be such a good way to, you know, say it is how you feel. And, you know, cause we do care how other people are feeling. And normally if we know somebody's unhappy, or we want to make them feel better. <laughs> It's part of, who, you know, our nature, as it were. So I think I that's that. really good advice. That it doesn't matter, you know, we could, we could even follow that good advice when we're small, when we're middle-sized. Oh, and even when we're older. I think the, le the less you point your finger and scream, you, 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 try to make yourself begin with, this is how I feel. I feel upset that we couldn't get along. I want to know how we can do it better. I think you'll, everybody will be happier. Exactly. Yes, because nobody wants to, you know, nobody wants to be angry. Nobody wants to make other people sad. Everybody, no. you know, wants to really get together and find uh, solutions. Is that a good word? Yeah, exactly. So that we can make good choices and live happily together as Paul yeah. wants us to. Okay, do you have some angels today, Miss Joanne? I don't, but I can recall one in my head, and that would be compassion. Have oh, compassion yes. for others. And if you're thinking of that, you'll say I before you start screaming you. Well, I, I had uh, this, and I, I, I always, we always, oh, I do, I have very good intentions <laughs> to talk good about things. Yeah. So I thought, my intentions, and sometimes, you know, they're good, but I don't follow them through, maybe. So I thought, I'm going to remember to follow the right, you know, the angel with good intentions. And so I thought then, and my intention is to try and always tell the truth, uh, or if I have questions, to, you can, you know, you can look up a lot of things on um, your iPad or your computer and, and, and find a lot of good answers. And then I thought, another one is forgiveness. You know, sometimes, we you know, we all make mistakes. Yeah. We all do things that we feel badly about afterwards. So, you know, don't only forgive other people for what they do. Sometimes forgive yourself. Be kind to you yes. as well. So my, I'm going to try and tell the truth. And my intention is to forgive other people and to... If I do something that I regret or think, well, I should, I'm going to be kind to myself and forgive myself too this week. I think you, are you going to follow good advice, mister? <laughs> well, I think one of the best angel there is intention because so often you didn't intend to say the things that the other person heard. So it's so good if you do start with the I feel, then you're not accusative of the other person. But our intentions are great, but it doesn't go across that way to the other person. <laughs> it's like my intention to uh, do certain things like housework or, you know, <laughs> and, 
my intention to be organized when it comes time for Zoom right. <laughs> seems to be right. lost somewhere. Oh, oh, Mom, I intended to do that. I intended to. Oh, very yeah. good intentions, but some of them kind of disappear, I think. But to yes. We, mind. Need, well, we, we hope you all have a, a very happy week. Uh, I know it's, it's August now, and we're thinking about returning to school and things like that. So you have a few more days to enjoy the holidays. And so hopefully you'll get on the beach or go swimming or maybe take a little trip somewhere. And um, so we hope you all keep safe and healthy and we look forward to seeing you soon, just like Paul. Yes, I hope you'll use those kind, gentle words and use the I word before you start arguing about something. Have a great, great last holiday. Yes, coming close. Um, so we'll close with a prayer today. Dear God, help me to be kind and generous. Guide me always to find the truth and never to be hurtful to others. Amen. It's a beautiful day. Yes, it is. Yes. It is really gorgeous. And no rain yet. No, this, that's what it looks like. A few little fluffy white clouds. So they're not, they're not very threatening. So that's rather pretty sky at the moment. So yeah, everybody have a good week. Be helpful, be kind and uh, tell the truth tell the truth use the i word i feel i feel happy that we've been with you today